Hi guys, welcome to this uh, short tutorial to help you get started with the uh, Mirai Geoscience apps. Um, you probably uh, seen those uh, the uh, short uh, tutorial videos that we put online, uh, demonstrating how to uh, to use some of those apps. Basically, the idea is to to have uh, take advantage of Python ecosystem to be able to process data, and then um, uh, use Geoscience Analyst as uh, storing and, and uh, viewing uh, software. Um, but then some of our users were asking, can you, can you help us out get started because we're not used to Python? And then so there's some, some steps uh, involved there. Uh, so we thought we'd just put this short uh, video uh, together. Um, and yeah, so at the bottom of each of these, uh, of these tutorials, as well as this one, you'll have a link that will take you to, uh, to a cloud uh, folder on, on Ignite. And in here, we have uh, multiple versions of the app. So obviously, uh, take the latest one. Every time someone's reporting a bug or would like to uh, new features to be added, uh, we just uh, generate a new, a new zip file so you can always, uh, you can always stay, stay up to date. As an alternative, if you're a GitHub user, you can go uh, get uh, the files directly from source uh, under Mio Geoscience slash uh, geoapps, and then uh, simply download. Uh, directly from, from here. For most of you, it's probably going to be uh, through this link, which once you download it, uh, you can extract. And then inside, inside this folder, you'll find uh, all these files. All we'll, we'll need here uh, is the installation.batch file. Um, so we recommend using Anaconda to manage uh, all your packages. And if you follow along, if you already have Anaconda 3.7 installed, it should be pretty straightforward. So let's go and let's do this. So from your Windows Start button, you can start an Anaconda prompt like this. And just put it side by side. And then what we'll need is to uh, first uh, move the directory directly to, uh, to the, the, the download folder, okay, where we download it. So CD here. Once we're in here, it's pretty easy. You simply run the installation.batch file like this. For those of you who are not used to using the command prompt, uh, you've noticed that I, I got the, uh, the full name pretty quickly by simply using the tab, uh, tab completion. So I only need to type the first letter and then it will find the full name of it. And then you can just uh, begin the installation like this. It will take about two or three minutes. So what I will do is uh, pause the recording and then uh, catch up as soon as it's over. See you in a second. Okay, welcome back. So it took about uh, two or three minutes. Um, it will depends uh, how fast your internet connection is, but uh, you'll you should I've seen a bunch of downloads, and then uh, this at the end. As long as nothing's red in the screen. Uh, that means you're, you're ready to go. Uh, you notice that Anaconda gave us a little uh, warning message here saying that uh, in order to be able to use uh, all the, the packages that we've installed, you first need to activate uh, Mira apps. And that's always going to be true. Uh, so we're simply going to do this. We're going to do activate Mira apps. All right, and then one, once we do this, you'll notice that uh, now we have a label your apps in front of our command command line. Um, all the apps are inside the geo apps folder. So if you want to run any of the uh, any of the examples that we've shown in the videos, you simply uh, type a Jupyter notebook. And here there are two options: either uh, enter the notebook name directly, um, or uh, if you don't enter a name after the notebook, it will uh, start the uh, the index index page. And so I'll do this. Well, I guess uh, ideally I, I could have moved directly into the GeoApps folder, but here I'm just going to go inside, and now I have all my all my apps that are inside this folder here. And if you want to run any of them, you just click on them, and then you should be ready to go. Um, for those for uh, those of you. Uh, who are using Microsoft Edge as a as a browser, or if Edge is installed, uh, sometimes Microsoft will always default to Edge when running Jupyter Notebook. 
you can always copy uh, this line here to either Chrome or Firefox because Microsoft Edge does not support um, the uh, Jupyter apps. And so if you just copy this link and then create a new tab and then paste it in the, in the search bar, it will take you to exactly where, where I started. And then you can, you can go from there. So there we go. That's pretty simple. Uh, hopefully uh, you guys can get through this fairly easily. If you have any questions, my email address will be at the bottom of this video. And then I hope to see you online, active users. Good luck, everyone. Have a good